So the, so the first five things, give God a chance, overcome your, fe- your, your fears, purpose in your heart, be in the right place at the right time, look beyond your human li- limitation. And the last one, six, understand that your God is a God of breakthrough. He's a God of breakthrough. He specializes in things impossible. That's his specialty. The Syrians heard the sound. The enemy that was encamped around the city heard the sound. In 2 Kings 7, 6 and 7, it said, For the Lord had caused them to hear sounds of chariots and horses and a great army. While you pondering whether you're going to move forward, God is working it already out. But God needs you to move forward so you can be in the right place at the right time. They heard sounds so that they said one to another, the king of Israel is coming. He hired the. He, he, he built a confederation with the Hittites and the Egyptians and they all together and they come and wasn't nobody coming. God had just worked it out. <laughs> and, 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 and the Bible said, so they got up and they fled at dusk. They abandoned their tents, their horses, their donkeys. They left camp as it was and ran for their life, left their money, their food, left everything. And here come these lepers coming, saying, uh, I, I need a breakthrough and I'm going to get in position for a breakthrough. They saying our breakthrough ain't out here. Our breakthrough is over there. So instead of here crying, we're going to get over to the camp. And lo and behold, they got to the camp. The tents were empty. God has already empties out some stuff for some folks. He's saying you got to get to it before you know it. Are you positioning yourself, giving him a chance to, for a breakthrough in your life? You know, some people won't even give their life to the Lord, and then they want everything from the Lord. Let me tell you something. If you can't surrender to him, you've not given him a chance. I want the healing, but I don't want the salvation. Ask yourself, am I really giving you a chance, Lord? Or every time you start doing something, I try to twist it and do it my way. You know, like uh, Abraham and his wife when they wanted a child and they gave up on God. And so Sarah uh, picked out one of her handmaids and gave it to Abraham. Here, have a child with her because it ain't working with me. Are you really giving God a chance? God don't need our help. All God need us to do is be obedient and believe. Are you walking in faith instead of fear? See, some people call fear faith. Oh, ah, Lord Jesus! Oh. And they're scared as they can be. Faith make you calm. Faith calls you to relax, cool, calm, and collective. You talk to the Lord, Lord, we're in a mess. Ain't nothing going to change unless you change it. But I know you can do it because you did it for me. You do it for four, me four. See, are you walking in faith or are you walking in fear? Have you purposed in your heart? Or if you're a spouse, you're waiting on your spouse. If you're a family member, you're waiting on your family member. You know, this pandemic has changed everything. We're not in our church buildings full at full capacity like, you know, who was. And this one's waiting on that one. And that one's waiting on this one. And this one decided if they're going to shift somewhere else and all that. But God bless you. But God is looking for somebody that can stand flat-footed, purpose in their own heart. I'm going to stand. Do you see yourself in the right place at the right 
time? Are you wavering minded? Are you here today, there tomorrow? Are you up and down? Is this a question to, for yourself? Are you looking beyond your human limitations? If the answer is yes to all of this stuff, then I'm here to tell you, you're poised. You're in position for a breakthrough. It's just around the corner. It's on its way. It's a pressing in. You're going to see that situation change. You're going to see that circumstance change. You're going to see those children healed and that family delivered. You're going to see that breakthrough. It's coming. You're positioning yourself. You're in the right place. It's coming. It might not be when you want them, but I'm going to tell you something. God is always right on time. Amen. It's on the horizon. You might as well give him some praise. Amen. You might as well start thanking him now. Don't come into his presence waiting on somebody else to praise him. You start praising him for yourself. They might look at you and say, why are you praying? I'm praising him because I serve the God of the breakthrough and he's working it out. He's working it out. He's working it out.